Welcome to your dashboard. So here is a place where you can start to see your general settings for Alicia, for example, the language, uh, the day of the week she's going to join, but also the different settings for your profile. As you can see, I have quite a lot of them. So it depends on what your settings are and we will be uh, diving into them very quickly. I want to highlight one specific feature here as you will be most probably testing different profile and settings. You might want to test Alicia and this is where you can do that. Here you have a button to chat with Alicia. You can click on it. Alicia is going to join your, uh, your chats and you'll be able to interact directly with Alicia in your embedded Twitch chat. And when you're finished, you just have to stop chatting with Alicia and she's going to leave your channel directly. Alicia will join every time you stream. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to click on any button. She'll be joining your next stream. To start, go configure your account. So this is just here. You go on settings and here you will see the different element that you can give to Alicia so she can know you better. So let's say, first of all, I'm going to select my language, which is going to be English for me. And here you will have a way to tell Alicia who you are and what your stream is about. So that's very generic information, but you go, you can go further, giving information about who is your moderator on your um, on your channel, or any other element about your setup that you want Alicia to know, and so she can give those information during your live. Lastly, you can also give some personal information about like yourself, your age, or if you have a family or anything that you want Alicia to be able to give information to your viewers directly in the chat, or even interact with you when you're chatting directly with her. Then you will go here you can select your pronouns and select your time zone as well which is uh, mandatory if you have a different schedule like if you want Alicia to only join on Tuesday and Thursday and not on your other stream you will want to set up your time zone because this is going to determine when the day starts here you have also one element a lot of people doesn't like to be interacting with an AI so you have the option to actually make Alicia ignore them directly into your account so you can just add here any username that you'd like so let's just say fun family gaming and this user will be ignored by Alicia directly when they will be in my chat. So they won't have to worry about interacting with Alicia or not. Lastly, but one of the most important settings, you can actually give access to your moderators to the Alicia setting platform. So they will be able to tweak Alicia while they are live. And so they will be able to make her more chatty, less chatty, or in a different mood if you'd like all along during your stream. So that's going to help you to have the Alicia you want for the different period of your stream. And don't forget to click on submit. Welcome to the customization page. This is the heart, the soul of Alicia. This is where you will be crafting your profile, your character, the one who is joining your stream. This page can be a bit impressive. There is a lot of different elements to twist and play around with. So I'm going to go through it and explain you all the different features that you have on that page. First of all, you will have a default profile, which is going to be your channel name and default. It is a profile you can start with and start editing. I would recommend you to create different profile with different character or different mood. It's up to you to decide, but that helps you to switch whenever you want to have a different vibe in your stream. That's going to make it a lot more easier. You will first of all have some created profile. Those profile work and you can just try them out directly in your stream by clicking on one of those buttons. Here you will have the name of your profile, which should help you to recognize it when you have the list of them. But also you can give yourself a nickname. I'm playing a of flight simulator so i want alicia to actually be able to call me captain which you know i am directly in my own plane and so that's how it works then you will have a content settings this is extremely important specifically if you are um, 18 plus channels which means that curse words or discussing about different topics that might be controversial sometime might happen in your chat and you don't want alicia to be reminding everyone to just keep it pg-13 so that's an important element to decide if you want to go on 18 plus or in normal or if you want Alicia to be protecting your stream to avoid any controversial topic, which is called family friend. You can have a look there. There is also the stream deck integration. When you will be able to get the stream deck integration on your stream deck, you will need this link to be able to swap profile during your stream. Then you have the Alicia's nickname. Here is the nickname that you can give to Alicia. So you can refer to Alicia verbally, which I'm going to talk about after on how to speak to Alicia 
with your voice, but also in chat. So people will be able to refer her to different names. Here is the core of Alicia. So it's basically where you define how her brain works. It is kind of creating your own sims where you will be defining the different traits of personality. Let's say, for example, you want someone who is nice, protective, friendly. You can define that directly in adding those words uh, in, this, in this field. However, you can prefer to have someone very sassy, sarcastic, even grumpy. It's up to you to decide. But those are the traits of character that makes her decide how she wants to react. And after that, you will have the acting, which is basically the place where you can also give a bit of backstory. For me, for example, she's going to be an airline co-pilot on Flight Simulator. And we've been flying together for a while, so we know each other quite well. And we have different stories that she'll be able to kind of come up with during my life. So I'll be able to react as I go along. But at the end, there is also one thing I want her to do, is respect the captain and obey to what I'm saying. Otherwise, she can go haywire and tell me that I'm not respecting the standard procedure. And to finish, Alicia, it's an AI. So she decides whenever she wants to interact or not. But you also have ways to control that, specifically through the interaction setting. Those parts is going to define how she's going to interact within your community, but also with yourself. You can firstly decide if you want her to interact more with you or with your viewers, or in more balanced way. Then you have the talking style. If you want her to be very brief, normal, like a normal length of, of talking, or a bit more detailed. Those are indication. If she has a lot to say, let's say we are in an airliner and we're flying above some nice elements, she might want to give you more information, so more detailed response, even though I'm going to put like a brief type of her settings. It's up to her to decide that. Then you will have the chattiness. So here is where you define if you want her to be very chatty, a bit more quiet. It's up to you to see that. You can at the end decide if, if you want her to only respond when she's called out, like only when she's tagged by someone in the chat or by yourself when you say her name. And the last one is the reactivity settings. If you want more realism, you don't want Alicia to be able to post message too fast. Otherwise, it's going to break the realism of the interaction. Overall, I do prefer when she's fast because I'm having a lot of interaction and so I do prefer having the direct interaction with Alicia. And lastly, don't forget to save it. As I was saying before, you always have an option to test your profile just by clicking here and she'll be joining your chat for 10 minutes and so you'll be able to interact with Alicia there.